Hello everyone. I'm so glad you have joined me for another fabulous Friday idea. <clears throat> I am continuing using my vellum and I have a fun idea for you today. I took a class on creating ink backgrounds, um, alcohol ink backgrounds, and I thought it would be fun to do it on vellum. In the class we used um, graphic paper, UPO paper, that type of thing. But this one, I'm gonna try it with the vellum. To do this, you're going to need some alcohol inks. And I have ones from Altenu. This is Rubelite. I have this one that is um, Green Lakes. I have this one that is Periwinkle, which is a pretty blue. And I have Ocean Waves, which is another blue. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do, I've got a big piece here because I may try a couple of different things in here and see what happens. I also have some alcohol in here and this is alcohol blending solution. I have also pulled in my um, foil. This one is, which one is this one? It's called Opal, Opal, which is like that. And then I have this one that has silver in it. And I'm gonna take out the silver because I think I'm going to do some blues with silver. And it's holographic, sorry. I don't have gold. I thought I did, but I don't. All right, I'm going to take my lids off so I'm ready. Oh. Oh, I can't get this one off. I did use it in the class. I'm trying not to get it all over my hands, but you never know. All right. And we'll just see how the silver lasts. Now to do the, um, add the foil in it, you have to do it when it's tacky. So we'll see. All right, I am going to start with a couple of drops of the rubelite, which is a pink. And then I'm going to add, oh, you also need a blower. Oh, I've got silver and gold all over that. And I'm just going to put the um, alcohol in there and then... I'm just going to start blowing it in different directions. Now, you can do this with a straw, but I don't know about you, but I don't want to have to do that. Oh, isn't that neat? All right, let's see. Um, let's try ocean waves with it. I used a big piece because I figured I could take and cut it down. Now, I will tell you that what will happen is after I get this done, I will have to clean up and then I'll go back to putting my cards together. All right, I gotta move that out of the way. All right, I need some blue in there, so I'm gonna take a piece of blue. Ooh, it does get on your hands, so. I'm just gonna put those in there because I don't want, I don't want any white space. Ooh, I'm gonna leave that and the reason I'm gonna leave that is, I don't know if you can see the colors in there. Look at that deep purple. Oh, so pretty. And I'm just gonna give this a little bit of time to dry um, so that it isn't as tacky. If it's wet, you can't, um, it won't, how do I say this? 
it, it won't take, what happens is it comes off on your foil and the foil doesn't stay on your thing. So you have to let that dry some. So I'm gonna leave that. Now I'm gonna move over here and let's try a green one. And you know what? I'm gonna go straight to the blue. And now I'm going to, this one, I'm gonna try the alcohol blending solution on it versus the alcohol. So you can see the difference. Now this needs to be flat and it's not. All right, let's go. When it gets to the point where it won't move anymore, you either have to add more solution. And that one's kind of cool. Now, let's see. And that's kind of tacky, but I would like it to dry a little bit more. Let's see if I can get some down here. And you just kind of press it on there. I don't know if it's going to work. Oh, yeah, there it is. See, isn't that fun? Oh, my gosh, I love this. All right, I'm going to turn this slightly so I can get over here. And you just kind of put it down and rub it. Sometimes you can see where it's coming off. And see, I like it when it's mixed like that. Now, that is really thick there. I don't know how much is going to come off on there. So let's try that. Ah, perfect. Isn't that great? I'm going to pick it up so you can see it. Look at that. Isn't that fun? I love doing this. All right, now I haven't... This is not... All right, I'm going to add some blue. Whoops, wrong blue. I'm going to add some blue here here and here. And just so you can see the difference, I'm gonna use alcohol here, here, and here. And I am gonna put this top on because the alcohol will evaporate. Oh, knock that over. I have ink everywhere over there. All right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put some light blue in here. Let's see what happens if I throw in some light blue. All you can do is, I only have these four colors. I can't wait to get some more. I am going to sign up for another class that is being offered um, by the same lady who taught this one, but I haven't done so yet. Um, did I put that in? Yeah, I did. It's moving. And that's what the alcohol will do. It'll cause it to move. Now, you can take and add alcohol to it and move it around some more. You know, I'm going to leave that because I kind of like that. Now, I still have some space over here. I figure I'm just going to let it go. I will come back and add some silver. I may try the opalite on it. It's really kind of cool, the look that it gives. See, this is what happens. It wasn't dry when I did it before. So, all right, let's see. Um, <laughs> let's try the rubelite. And I'm not going to add the green yet. You do have to be careful because some colors will give you mud. 
So keep that in mind. Oh, that one's interesting looking. Let's try green with it now. I hope this doesn't feel like Christmas, but we'll see. All right. getting a kind of blue look to it. All right, I need to add, let's try some light blue. Some of these may not work. They may not look right. But I figure I'll try it and see. All right. Look at that. Oh. Mm. Pretty colors. I need... I need, I'm gonna put some more blue here. And I think I'm gonna put a dot, a thing of green here. Okay, I'm gonna leave that one and I'm gonna go back to this one and it's tacky. So I'm going to use and all you do is you put it down and you peel it off. And you can reuse pieces as you see, some of it wasn't quite dry, but that's okay. Then you can go back over it and add some more. See, this one takes on the color of the ink. All right, that one's got to dry some. Um, and I need one more. Let's use the green. I'm going to use the light blue in hopes I get something that reminds me of the ocean. We will find out, won't we? actually prefer using the alcohol um, I'm trying to And I think I'm going to put another green here. I'm trying to keep it kind of square. You can see where their alcohol is, is because when you put down the
and ink, it just kind of spreads. Oh, I like that. I'm gonna leave that as that. Now, those are all the ones that I have. I have to give this a little bit longer to um, dry before I put on, I'm gonna put my lids back on. Give me, where did I do with my silver one? Here's my silver one. Let me try this. This to me is just so much fun. Let's see, can I get some down here? Yeah, and you don't want a lot of silver, just, you know, just a little bit. I think I'm gonna use this one, not this piece, because as you can see, some of it wasn't dry. So it came, the ink came off. But I'm gonna use another piece of that to add that color in there. And then I'm gonna let these dry and I will come back um, and we'll do the cards so you can see what they look like. This one, see that one had some spots that weren't dry, but that's okay. Because what you do is you just take and you keep using it. It didn't affect the top. So but then you just roll it back up and put it back in its holder. And you do that so you don't take any of the pieces off. All right, that one is looking pretty good. So let me see what happens if I put this on and just kind of spread it around. It wasn't all the way dry. Sometimes what happens is you can take and go back over it and it will pick up. It's got some pieces on there. They're just not as noticeable. You also have to be careful. I have, when I was doing this in class, I was scratching it off with my fingers. So you don't want that either. Now we did try in class using glue. I think I'm gonna leave that. I can't get any more off of this. Um, using glue and letting it dry to be tacky. See, I waited a little too long for that one. But there are the ideas, so I'm gonna let these fully dry and go from there. Now, I, I will clean up all of that with alcohol, so I'm not worried about that. So, come back to see what I did with it. Okay, now that my pieces are dry, I am back to finish one of the cards. I've finished the others, I'll show them to you, but I'm only gonna do one online. For my sentiment, I chose Biggest Wish. I'm gonna use the Hello from in there. I know it's retired, but I like that stamp set. I have Blueberry Bushel ink. I have a scrap of white to stamp my sentiment on. This is the one, and this one has that pearl or opal. I don't know if you can see the shimmer in it or not, um, but I really like how it turned out. So I cut this one down. My white piece is the same size. Now I can't give you measurements because it's based on the size of what you did. Um, this is the normal layer and then this is my normal card base. So the first thing I'm gonna do, and I did discover something that I thought was interesting. And I'm gonna take my black piece and I'm gonna add it to my card base. I kept it fairly simple. I wanted the focus on my um, alcohol ink thing. Now, I was taking glue dots and putting it all over here, and I'm gonna flip that around. I dropped a thing of alcohol on there, and before I could get it, it made that ring. So that's what happens after it's dry and you drop the alcohol on it. And 
and it was okay, but my corners were curling up. So I thought, hmm, let me try something. So I used my tape runner and I did my corners after I had it down with glue dots and I'm running out of tape runner and it didn't show. All right, now the white is the exact same size as this. So what you wanna do is you're going to Oh, and I'm off. All right, hold on. I shouldn't have pushed down. Let me heat this. Okay. So I'm going to put it down like this. There, that's better. I was off just slightly. Now, this is curled because I heat it. heated it. I applied heat. <laughs> it didn't sound right. So I'm going to make sure I put, and I made it through my, okay, this is the way I want this. And I chose to use black because I think it really offsets the um, alcohol ink. It does not show up unless you put the white behind it. So that's why I layered it on the white. Now to do my sentiment. And I didn't add any gems or anything. I just kept it plain and simple. I think I'm going to do my sentiment. All right. And this is a scrap paper. So after I stamp it, I'm going to cut it down. All right. So, and I used the blueberry bushel because I thought it kind of matched. All right, let me go take and cut this down. Okay, I've got it cut down, so I'm going to take some dimensionals. And I've got a couple of strips over here I'm going to use up. And add them to my piece. Let me take my backs off and I'll add that to my card and it's done. I just love this technique. You'll have to let me know. I think I'm going to put the hello up there. Nope, down here. Up there I'm covering up the um, the I, it's not I don't the, the glitter, the glittery stuff. <laughs> and I wanted something kind of blobby looking or whatever, kind of free flowing to decorate the inside of the envelope. So I pulled in the textured floral and I did that. It just kind of looked like it went. I could have done that also, doesn't matter. So I used the colors from the, that I saw from the front and did the inside and the envelope. And now, here's the other ones that I did. Here is this one. And I used the go-to greetings for the Just a Note. All right. I did this one. And this is an old stamp set just because these were smaller, so I cut them down. And then this one, I used the go-to greetings for the Just a Note there. And that one was really colorful. So, I hope you have enjoyed my series on vellum and that you'll give some of these ideas a try. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel using the link below or the button below and sign up for my newsletter using the link below. Have a fabulous Friday. Bye.